Baseball season is upon us, and that means that we are going to be talking some sports movies. Yeah, being in the ballpark is uh, what you should be doing this time of year, but if you find yourself in a theater or at home, here's some suggestions. I'm going to go to the top of the list. The last 30 years or so has been almost this golden era of baseball-themed movies. So I'm going to go to the very first one to start off this one. It was The Natural in 1984. Robert Redford doing an old-style movie in a time where you didn't have this kind of thing. It kind of brought back the nuances of all the great stuff like Pride of the Yankees, but still had a, a guts and a, a sincerity to it about the love of baseball that uh, I think still transcends very easily today. Yeah, I, that, that's a great pick. Mine is going to be, since I'm wearing a Cleveland Indians jersey, oh boy, going to go with Major League. Oh, good. One Big of surprise. the <laughs> best baseball movies and one of the best baseball comedies of all time that you have a great cast from top to bottom, from uh, Wesley Snipes to Charlie Sheen to Tom Berenger. Just a hilarious movie, one of the few R-rated uh, baseball movies, and uh, rightfully so. I think that this one is, uh, is a classic regardless of who the team is. I'm going to uh, have to call a subjectivity on your angle on that one, too. <laughs> I mean, I just, what do you say to that? So, you right. know what? You know, for the otter picks for me, I know, uh, for the otter picks for me, uh, it's something that kind of delves a little away from baseball, but about fan obsession itself. This really interesting film called Big Fan, starring Patton Oswald, right when he was just a stand up comedian and known mostly for TV sitcom type stuff. This is the film that set him on the mark. It's like, this is a remarkably great talent, a great writer. This guy is a true talent. Scary, almost Hitchcockian level thriller about how far a person could be obsessed with sports and lack of their own life. Boy, see it once, you're never going to forget it. Exactly. I think that regardless of, that movie's about football, right. but regardless of the sport, you could graph this on to any type of obsessed fan. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, my pick is a little bit lighter and uh, definitely not perfect by any means, but Angels in the Outfield. Hmm. We have a young Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Danny Glover. Uh, we, we, talk about, we talk a lot about Rookie of the Year and The Sandlot when we talk about the family-friendly baseball films. But I thought this one was a really nice one, just very empathetic, very nice and warm. Uh, it was just a, a perfect example of a fine baseball movie. I gotta be honest, it got lost with me in the whole field of baseball movies that came out in the mid-90s. It was such a strange uh, thing to latch on to. Maybe it was the success of other great films at the time, like Bull Durham, and probably one of the best ones, League of Their Own, that That's came right. out at that time. So anyway, it was an interesting little sidebar of family-friendly stuff tying in uh, to the thing. Boy, there has been a lot of great baseball movies. There the has, years, yeah. a ton. Been a lot of bad ones, too. Yes. All right, I'm going to take a swing at this one, so to speak. Um, it's, it's Ed. It's, <laughs> it's Matt LeBlanc. It's a primate, and it's baseball. Those are the three things you need to know to avoid this movie. And that, that's it. It's, it, yeah, it's Ed. I remember someone put that on in a, at a party during middle school, <laughs> when I was in middle school, and it was even weirder watching it without the sound on, though <laughs> no one dared to actually turn the sound up on it because no one really cared about this movie. Mm -hmm. Such a weird time in, uh, in cinema. My pick, speaking of weird times in yeah. cinema, was uh, the uh, Adam Sandler produced bench the bench warmers mm -hmm. with Rob Schneider, David Spade, and a post-Napoleon Dynamite John Heater. There's no reason this, that this movie exists, uh, unless you want to prove that John Lovitz can try to save anything, because he's the only good thing about this movie. That does not justify watching it at all, because you have to deal with Rob Schneider and David Spade for <laughs> most of it. It's just a terrible, terrible comedy. It came at the foot end of a bunch of other movies, like Semi-Pro, that dealt with this. It seemed like this was the one dealing with baseball. You had the one dealing with ice skating. You had the one dealing with basketball. That's right. It just seemed like a, like a dwindling idea that just kind of zapped out all the power by the time it dribbled down to poor John Lovett. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to see what's playing in theaters this weekend, read St. Joe Live in Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press or go online to stjoelive.com. On Tuesdays, we're doing the Friends Front Row Film Series at the East Hills Library Theater. Having a good month, we're showing Alfred Hitchcock films as part of our Alfred Hitchcock Festival. That's Tuesdays at 6.30. Join us. Excellent. And join me next week as I review the latest Fast and the Furious movie, The Fate of the Furious. Until then, we'll be live at the movies. See you later. See you.